Well, good morning and welcome. Welcome to this Christmas carol service. I wonder, are you, are you looking forward to the big day? It's not long to go now, is it? I, I, I'm looking forward to it so much. It's only one, two, three, four, five, five sleeps. Five sleeps left. What we're going to do together this morning is hear a story called The, uh, the Very Noisy Christmas. Um, but before we do, I thought we should uh, send out a reporter, someone who was, uh, could go and interview a couple of people who were involved in the events that we celebrate uh, at this time of year. The name of the reporter is Detective Desmond. Um, some of us have met him before because he makes the odd appearance with us here at Emmanuel. Um, don't worry if you've not met him before. The thing you need to know about Detective Desmond is he likes getting to the bottom of things. You know, he's not interested in in fairy tales or myths. No, he likes facts. And uh, here's the first of two reports which he um, has sent in um, that, that we're going to be able to watch together. Ah, hello. As I'm sure you know, I am Detective Desmond, the great mystery solver. There's not a puzzle I can't solve or a conundrum I can't crack. But there is one mystery I've yet to get to the bottom of. That's what happened at the very first Christmas. All I know is that there was a baby called Jesus who was born. There's nothing special about that. Babies are born all the time. So why all this fuss? Why all this celebration? To help me know who this baby was, I'm going to speak to a couple of people who were there at the very first Christmas, who met the boy. And to start with, I'm going to talk to this lady here. Um, hello there. Hello. Hello. Is it easy? It, it is. May I have a word? Yeah, of course you. Um, what, what exactly do you do? Well, Detective Desmond, I'm a shepherdess. Ah, so you were there at the very first Christmas. Um, what can you remember about that night? Oh, well, I can remember lots. I actually told Luke about it, and he wrote it in a book. Chapter 2, verses 8 to 18. Could I, could I tell you what I shared with him? Please, go ahead. Well, we were there in the fields that night. We were tending our flock, looking after them and guarding them. And then suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among us, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded us. We were terrified, but the angel reassured us, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Saviour, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you'll recognise him by this sign. You'll find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. And when the angels had returned to heaven, we said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that's happened, which the Lord has told us about. So we hurried to the village. We found Mary and Joseph and there was the baby lying in the manger. Wow. Well, well, well. What an astonishing night. And what did he do next? Well, we told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to us about this child. And all who heard were astonished. I bet they were. Well, thank you so much, Izzy, for your time. Um, you've helped me gather some clues. I'll let you go and tend your flocks now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, there we have it. Jesus, the Saviour, has been born. What great news. This is Detective Desmond reporting from a hill overlooking our great city. Well, we're going to hear from Detective Desmond one more time. But before we do, we're going to sing. And we're going to sing a... a um, we're going to sing about what the angels said to the shepherds in the fields that first Christmas night. They said, and a, a saviour has been born and he lies in a manger. 
Um, so are you ready? Uh, have you got a shaker? If you've got a shaker, why not, why not jump on your feet and, and dance around as we sing this carol together? Well, hello again. Here I am outside the Persian Food Station in Gloucester Road. Now, why am I here? Well, I'm hoping to find another figure from the Nativity story who will help me in my investigation. Now, I'm hoping to find a particular man. Ah, I think I found him. Excuse me. Hello, excuse me. Can I have a word? Young man, yes. What is it I can do for you? Uh, thank you. Um, are you a wise man from the East who has an interest in stargazing? Yes, indeed. I am one of those. But a special star. A star which spoke of a great king. A king like never seen before. This star we gazed upon. Okay. And what's this got to do with baby Jesus? Uh, what can you remember about that day? Well, the best thing for me to do is to read from what young Matthew wrote. Matthew wrote some great things. He made a great record of the things that happened. Maybe I should read from him? Yes. He wrote it down ever so well. Very trustworthy writing. About the time that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in Judea, during the reign of this, this King Herod, my fellow wise men and I arrived in Jerusalem and we asked, where is this newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. Then this, this King Herod called for a private meeting with us and he learned from us the time when the star first appears. Then he told us, go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. After this, we went on our way. And the star we had seen in the east guided us to Bethlehem. It went ahead of us and stopped over the place where the child was. When we saw the star, we were filled with joy. We entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary. That's, that's amazing. And, and what did you do next? What did we do next? We worshipped him. What else would we do? What else could we do? And we brought him our gifts. Our gifts we had. We had gold. 
and we had frankincense and we had myrrh of the finest, finest quality, the most expensive. What else could we bring? Wow, gifts fit for a king. My goodness, this is amazing. Well, thank you very, very much, uh, Mr. Wise Man. Uh, you give me lots of helpful clues to help me in my investigation. I shall leave you on your way. You probably have a camel to find, but thank you again very much. What amazing news. Who would have heard of a star in the sky announcing the birth of a baby? Well, there we have it. Jesus is the Savior, the King. This is truly great news that everyone needs to hear about. This is Detective Desmond reporting from the Persian food station on Gloucester Road. The story of Christmas is so wonderful that Christians have been singing about it for years. In fact, the carol we're about to sing was written 200 years ago. We've done something slightly cheeky this, this time though. We've just changed one word. I wonder if you can notice what it is as we sing it. Again, why not jump on your feet though? Perhaps this, this carol is a bit more one to sort of sway to than dance around madly. Um, after we've sung, Roz is going to read our story to us. this story, A Very Noisy Christmas. Now there are some bits in the book where you need to be really quiet so that you could listen to some very important things that are being said. But then there are other bits when you need to make lots of noise with me. Can you do that? Okay, are you ready? Shh. It was a quiet, quiet night on the hillside. The shepherds and the sheep were sleeping. Then suddenly, ah! an angel! The shepherds were so, so scared. But wait, the angel was saying something. Shh! Let's listen carefully. The angel said, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. God's rescuer has been born in Bethlehem. He is the king of the whole wide, wonderful world. And you will find the baby wrapped snugly, lying in a manger. Then suddenly, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of angels were praising God at the tops of their voices. The King has been born! Peace on earth! Glory to God! And then suddenly... Shh. 
the angels went back to heaven and everything was quiet again. The shepherds hurried off to Bethlehem and they found Jesus in a manger, just like the angel had told them. The shepherds wanted to tell everyone. Wake up everybody! Something amazing has happened! Jesus, the rescuer, has been born! Meanwhile, in a land far, far away. Some wise men were studying special books and watching stars. Then suddenly... Wow! Look! What is that? A new star had appeared in the sky. They knew the star meant that a special king had been born. So they packed their bags and went on a long, 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 long trip to see a new king. When they arrived, they found Jesus and gave special gifts to him. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. They bowed down before him and they knew he was the king of the whole wide wonderful world. Do you want to know something special? Jesus is God's son and our rescuer. He is the king of the whole wide wonderful world. Jesus came at the first Christmas so we can be friends with God forever. Now that is something worth singing and shouting about. Jesus is the king! Joy to the world! Hooray! Well I wonder, have you, have you ever been asleep at night and then woken up by a noise outside your window? Maybe, I don't know, a car alarm goes off, or there's some fireworks, or, or, or thunder, and um, you're, you're fast asleep, uh, maybe fast asleep like this. There you are, snoring away happily, you're on your, you're fast asleep, and there's this, this great noise, maybe there's a lorry roaring up on the road outside, outside your window, or what we often have actually is people who are walking back from town having had a big night out and they there they are on our street corner chattering away and it makes me want to sort of go outside and say look look please will you be quiet because we're all trying to sleep here well um, on that first Christmas night what did the shepherds do can you remember from our story what did they do did they quietly go back to the hills no 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 they didn't they were very noisy you can just imagine them on the uh, on the streets of Bethlehem, chattering away to anyone they could find about what they'd just seen. It wasn't a silent night, it was a noisy night. And why? Well, something amazing had happened. The shepherds had seen something with their own eyes, which they would never forget. Not, not some fairy tale. No, the angels had said to them, the king, God's rescuer, has been born and you'll find him in a manger which is really just a, a container of from which animals would eat their food you'll find this rescuer this savior of the whole world lying in this food container in Bethlehem the shepherds went into Bethlehem what did they find they found a baby lying in a manger and now now they were so amazed by this so thrilled that they wanted to tell everyone that Jesus, the rescuer, has been born. They wanted to tell everyone. Well, our world needs rescuing, doesn't it? It didn't just need rescuing back then. It, it, no, it needs rescuing, needs rescuing today as well. I guess this year we've been reminded of that more than ever. Whether it's people getting sick and dying because of coronavirus or whether it's people just being very cruel to others because of the colour of their skin. Our world is full of crying and sadness and things that, that don't work as they should. And, and why is that? Well, it's because, as Jesus will go on to teach when he, when, he, when he began his teaching ministry when he grew up, 
it's because we've all basically said to God, we don't want you in our life, God. And when we say that, everything goes wrong. So is God fed up with us now? Um, can seem like that, can't it? It can seem like God really doesn't care. But the message of Christmas is that he does care. He cares very, very much. He cares so much that he sent his son into this world to be our rescuer, our saviour. That is, he sent his son to put this world right, to put us right. Just the moment we, we come to him and say that we're sorry. And that is really great news. That news is so good that it's worth waking people who are fast asleep up. Everybody needs to know about it. Everyone, whether they're, 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 they're homeless in our city this Christmas time, or they're, they're in hospital, whether they're really important, like the mayor and, and the council leaders, or whether they're just like you and me, ordinary people living in ordinary families, in ordinary homes, on ordinary streets. This is the message of Christmas. It's good news. Jesus is the king. He's come as a rescuer. So joy to the world. Hooray. Why don't we pray about this now? And I've got a few of my friends who are going to lead us as we do. We're here at the Wild Goose Cafe. This is where people come who are hungry or homeless to get um, some warm food and to um, know God's love. I'm going to say a prayer. Dear God, thank you that you go for the hungry and the homeless. And that please help people who are homeless or hungry to get what they need to live and that they will know your love this Christmas. Amen. Amen. Here we are in outside the children's hospital, Bristol Hospital. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all the hospital staff and the Bristol Royal Hospital for children. Please give them rest and fun this Christmas. Please bring them healing and hope to all their unwell children and their families. So here we are outside the city of Bristol council buildings where our mayor Marvin Rees and his council leaders do their work. We're going to say a short prayer Go for on. them. Thank you God for Marvin Rees and all the people who work for him. Please help him to make good decisions and to look after everyone in Bristol. Please help him um, please help him look after people who don't have a home and children who don't have much money or food. Please help him keep everyone in Bristol safe from the virus. Please also help him to know what is um, that Jesus is the leader of the world. Um, amen. Hello, my name's Claire, this is Simeon, and we're here in our neighbourhood in Filton in Bristol. And we are thinking about how we would love our neighbours to come to know Jesus this Christmas, and we're praying for them, and so Simeon's going to pray for them now. Dear Jesus, thank you for our neighbours and friends here in Bristol. Please help them to love Jesus and please help us to tell them about Jesus this Christmas. Amen. Amen. We've got time to sing one last Christmas carol. It's called We Wish You a Merry Christmas and I, and I bet you know it very, very well. There is one line in it that, though, that's a bit funny. Um, it's the line that goes, good tidings we bring. 
We don't use the word tidings very much, but it just means news, good news of a rescuer we bring. We bring to you and your kin, and the word kin is another word for relatives, but the point is, this is good news to be shared with everyone. So go on, why not jump on your feet and sing this out as we finish this carol service. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Why not join us again at 10.30 a.m. on Christmas Day? All the details on how you can do that are available on our website, emmanuelbristol.org.uk forward slash Christmas. And why not also join us in the new year as well? Whenever we have a service, we always make sure there's something for everyone, whether you're young or old, whether you'd call yourself a Christian, whether you're not sure. I'm going to hand over to, to Theo now, who's going to pray a final prayer for us. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. May the Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace this Christmas and always. In Jesus' name, Amen. God is the leader of the world. And he made the trees and he made the sun. And he also made the sky and he made the earth.